Hey yo guys, welcome back to Team AE. This is your boy Assassin Dave, and today we're gonna introduce to you guys the universe best, all-in-one, most comprehensive, 100% domination guide for Carmela to make sure you guys start to explore the true power of this vampire beauty. Throw me in the biggest crowd. That's my safest place. the content make sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell on and I'll see you guys in the video just for the thrill of it nothing kind of it with you just the thrill of it just for the thrill of it nothing kind of it Carmela is a melee tank support hero that is extremely strong early game Today, we're gonna get into her combo, her item build, and demonstration of how to play her. Now, before that, understand how to play Carmela, you first have to understand her strength and weaknesses. Number one, Carmela is extremely tanky when she's around multiple units, either minions or heroes, as long as she can use her first skill to damage and regen. She is almost impossible to kill standing among three targets with skill one on. This also makes her so strong in the early game skirmishes. Number 2. Carmela's second skill can stun people for as long as 1.5 seconds. Just wait until all the flowers finish booming after you activate the second skill. But make sure to get in range before the timer runs out. Number 3. The more people you hit with your skill or auto attack, the more defense stats you will receive from passive. So make sure to touch more enemy heroes in the team fight to enhance your survivability. Number 1. Carmela is extremely short ranged. And since she has no real gap closer or in other words displacement skills, it's fairly easy to kite around her. This characteristic makes her Carmela vulnerable to the marksman and mage class. Imagine a farmed Kagura against Carmela, or to make things worse, how about a farmed Lilia against Carmela? You'll probably die without knowing how you died. So be careful of those ranged heroes, they are your natural enemy. Number 2. Carmela's ultimate is actually quite hard to land. So I would recommend you guys to use it after someone has engaged for you first and then find an opportunity to throw in that ultimate for the annihilation of the enemy team. Alright guys, here comes a couple parts. So basically what you do is start out with a second skill, wait for it to charge a little bit, flicker in, use your ultimate, use the second skill, and then use your first skill to go into your enemy team, go among them, and do as much damage as you possibly can. This way you will find out just you alone will do insane amount of damage if you can link multiple targets and then they revolve around your first skill. Now usually that's not going to happen, so you have someone to engage for you, and what you can do is just start off with the second skill, and after they're stunned, Use your ultimate to link them up and then start doing damage relying on your teammates to kill them off. Now, for build wise, this is the building path I would recommend. Starting off the game, obviously you want to buy the roaming mask. After the roaming mask, you want to buy your boots, right? Preferably get a level 2 right away. Level 2 boots gives you more movement speed and more stats, depends on the game. Sometimes I buy tough boots, sometimes I buy warrior boots, depends on wh what I'm facing against, right? If a lot of ma magic resist, I will buy tough boots. These tough boots give me magic resist, also reduce time controlled by 30%, which is really good against a lot of quad control. And then right after that, my build path is, might be interesting. I only build components. Well, first component is a silence rope. I build this item, which eventually will turn to Oracle, but I don't finish right away because starting off again, you don't have a lot of money. And then I will go ahead and build a Dreadnought, the Dreadnought armor. This also gives me a lot of armor, probably one of the most cost effective items, only 730 gold overall, but it gives you 40 physical defense. And also when enemy hero attacks, reduce the physical magic attack by 4%. This allows you to sustain through all those damages against the tanks, against all the marksmen who's hitting you while you try to sustain with the first skill. So after this, you can either choose to build Immortality, or you can just get Guardian Helmet. Why do I build Guardian Helmet, you ask? Because this hero will stay in the front of the team fight and tank a lot of damage. Right after your tank, you will find yourself with a lot of mana, but a little bit of HP. 
If you go home, you lose vision for your team. But if you stay around the team fight and have Guardian Helmet to stay on the side and regenerate back to full HP real quick, you will find yourself back to fully functionality in a short duration. So either one, right? If you find yourself dying, find yourself in a lot of dangerous spot and really want to just go in and tank everything, Immortality is a really good item. Or you can go Guardian Helmet, which is one of the most expensive items. I also recommend if you don't want to build this one early, just build it in the last item. That's also totally fine. And then you what you want to do is finish Oracle as well as Dominance Ice, right? After you finish those items, you can last but not the least finish your support item. This item, you know, sometimes, especially as a support, you don't need a second mask because your frontline tank probably already has a, a mask, which means you can just build level one mask instead of level two or level three. So that's basically the item build I would go for. Regarding emblem sets, I personally recommend just go with the tank emblem sets. This one gives you a lot of physical stats, lots of tanky stats. You can also choose between the three of those, right? If you constantly go towards the bottom lane with your marksman, you might go against a fighter or assassin. So then you can go with the physical defense, the fortis or fortress. If you want to go against the mid lane, if you go with your mid lane against enemy mid lane, you might consider going with the purity, right? This one allows you to get more magic resist, 8% extra. Plus your passive is a lot of magic resist. But my personal favorite is obviously going with the cooldown reduction. Pro cooldown reduction allows you to spend your first skill a lot more, uh, allow you to spend your second skill a lot more, and also your ultimate a lot more. 10% is actually quite a bit, guys. So this concludes our build and emblems. Let's quickly walk into a Mythical Glory ranked gameplay where I will be demonstrating all of this in action. All right, guys, welcome back to the gameplay portion uh, where I will be demonstrating all the pointers we just mentioned on the most comprehensive 100% domination guide on Carmela. Uh, going down mid lane, let's take a look. It's a Gushin and a Hylos. Yeah, they're they're really really powerful, but are they more powerful than Dave? Let's see if we can one me two them, right? <laughs> let's try this. All right, let's try this. All right, I'm gonna flicker out because I don't have my damage consistently, and then uh, I run on my first skill, right? And they really want to find me, so that's fine because I got I'm gonna get my HP right back, right back. Yeah, <laughs> let's get this uh, HP thing. Are, are, are you gonna try to? Ooh, you stunned the small minion. Okay, Gushin. Nice, first blood. Now we can get this kill right here. Wait for three seconds. Ah, uh, he executed, I think. Yeah, he has executed. He executed. Uh, do you mean to dash away? Just fine. Rebirth just came out. So, that's fine, guys. Uh, that's pretty good level one, to be honest. I helped invade, and then I went on Gushin, right? Uh, obviously, Hylos has the continuous damage. I don't have that. Bottom lane is just farming. Let Franco do your thing. Uh, it's okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Alright. Let's stun this. Stun this guy. There we go. You're dead. Bye bye. I don't know why he keep on staying in the front. Um, against someone like, you know, against someone like th this hero right here. Okay. Stun him up. Yeah. The top lane rotated. Our bottom lane stayed bottom for quite a while. He's just trying to get farm, as much farm as he can get. Um, which means he's not really rotating properly. Uh, right now he's gonna be in a little bit of trouble, so. Uh, let's go ahead and get our get our boots real fast. <laughs> Again, it's gonna be a little bit, because uh, we don't have we don't have AOE damage. What we have is just, um, we don't have AOE stun either. What we have is just a Franco, which is which is a lot of, lot of problem, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and activate our second skill and then stun him up. Yeah, there we go. Uh, he's probably gonna get that get that kill, but I'm gonna go ahead and stay on the CSDs to make sure we get the other kill. Um, nice, our bottom lane got kills as well. So three kills for, I'm level four now. Which means I'm much stronger than before, but still not the strongest. So especially tanking against Hylos as well as tanking against um, um, their uh, Gushin, it's a little bit harder, right? It's a little bit harder. So tell them to come to the red. What is? We could have just go. Um, hmm, okay. All right, that's free kill. I see. Get this guy. I stun him. All right, slow. And he's gonna use his ultimate for the heal. But it's not gonna be enough. It's still free kills. Okay, and their blue is up. So we're gonna go ahead and take their blue. If we can take their red, let's take their blue, All right? To get it real quick. All right, there we go. Uh, now the turtle is up. We took their blue buff already. So <clears throat> uh, we have a vision ward right in the 
in their camp over there. That's really, really good. You know, we know exactly where they are the whole time. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hide myself in this bush right here and then stun the Scooching up. There we go. <laughs> and this guy's going to have ultimated dash away. That's fine. The good thing is when they have these thieves, they're going to stay fairly close to each other, you know? All right, I'm going to use my over here. Yeah. The, you see the, how much damage export ultimate did because of the ultimate link, you know? I'm going to stun him up again. Uh, one HP. We have our bottom lane never rotated, but he, they're going to get bottom tier one tower, which is fine. So, let's go ahead and take this, um, take this uh, hell package on the ground. You can use your first skill to heal. That's a really good thing about Karmala, which you don't have to go home, right? We, uh, for a lot of tanks, when you're around that HP line, you have to probably just leave. Um, let me stun first. Let me stun first. Okay, stunned. Purified. <clears throat> um, that means doesn't have it. Let's wait, right? Um, purified. Nice purified. We got our, we got the, the turtle as well. Okay, ulting, ulting. I'm gonna go ahead and flicker out the, the range. We did, we linked them, linked all of them. You can see the explosion just killed all of them, right? <clears throat> and then I was tanking in the front. Which is not supposed to happen. Karmala and Franco is not a good combo, guys. You do not want to get two single target CC on your team. What you want is a big CC, like a Minotaur, like a Lolita, like a um, Grok on your team, along with Karmala. The the combo that you want to go for is someone, or Kufra, someone who's done first, and then Karmala will follow up. But if you put Karmala in an awkward position like where I am right now, where I have to tank the majority of the damage, it become a lot of trouble, you can see, right? It's not the best. It's surely not the best. Oh, nice hook. Um, they're gonna come in. I have my second skill for us for a stun on, all, on both of them. I link them up again. If we do damage here, they're both dead. But I guess we're not right now. I don't know what Selena's waiting for. I guess waiting for the stun right here. Yeah, you're dead. A 1.5 second stun is this. And bye bye. Yeah, this is the power of this hero, guys. Uh, you think I, I thought a Franco landed a hook over there, by the way. That's why I activated my first skill and do damage first hand, but uh, he didn't. Okay, stun him up. Uh, purify again, and he got away. That's fine. Franco missed the hook. Like I said, we have no big crawl control, right? But so I'm just gonna go home, heal up. <laughs> this is why in the item build, I said. You can choose to go guard and helmet. You see how many times I have to go back home? Because you have to stay in the front use your first skill. You tank a lot of stuff. So, um, with guard and helmet, I could have stayed over there and joined this team fight, but I didn't have it. Um, Kimi gonna get a, a kill number... No, there we go. Triple kill for Kimi. Um, so, we don't need help take buff. So, we don't, we don't have to help him. Let's go ahead and take this real fast. Kimi is already sitting at 4,500 gold, and then our mid lane is sitting at 5,000 gold. Uh, just a lot of farm for our Selena. So right now, let's see if we can land a stun here. I don't think so. We're just gonna wait. Um, if they get close, I'm gonna stun them up. All right? Wait, 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 wait. All right, stun. Pull out the stun. Use my ultimate right here. Uh, I thought they linked. I thought they came in a little bit more, but they did not. Um, okay. Run, Dave! Run! Ah! There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. The getaway. The smart getaway. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go home. Uh, <laughs> I, for a second there, I thought he's decent on our team, but he's not. So, no. You, you can't, unfortunately. The problem is we went on Terizla, which is a little bit harder to kill, and then that took a little while, right? So, we didn't get the kill on the opponent. Uh, you know, we didn't kill him in time, and that's why uh, our melee died. Yeah, but we're gonna go ahead and come come back to mid and take all the wave with our Kimi. Wait for blue buff. Yeah. Why did you drag it out here? Oh, I stunned him. You're dead. He jumped in, didn't think, didn't think I was in that bush, did you? This is what I'm talking about. When you play support, you wanna make sure you're in the bush all the time, okay? When you come out, it's gonna be a surprise, motherfucker, kind of moment, okay? Make sure you understand that. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and stun this guy up. And nice job. Use my ultimate just for fun. He's already dead because Franco's ult is um, you can stop purify. So you can purify through Franco's ult. Yeah, I think it's better than Kaja's ult. You know. I'm looking for a stun again. Oh, nice, nice. 1.5 follow up cushion. I'm tanking tower shots. That means I'm not gonna dive in here because I tank way too many tower shots. 
Uh, they're all 1 HP, x Borg's dead, but we do have the wave alive. So, uh, if Abbas is going to do some damage to the tower, there we go. We're going to get high ground tower right here. Uh, very, very nice. Jolly good. Jolly good. And then just going to go back, right? Go back to where our team is. Um, yeah, bottom lane has a lot of farm. Hui. There we go. Yeah. Get this health package. This is going to allow us to heal back. Uh, turtle is up. Let's go for turtle. Yeah. Max your first skill, guys. It's uh, your most important skill. Most important skill. Can I give it to me, I think? Yeah. Get this real quick. I'm going to tank it up. Tank it up. Tank it up. Tank it up. Oh, we got Ice-Tease right here. Uh, again! Again! Link, 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 link! Link them up! They're all linked, they're all linked! They're all linked! Can't tank anymore. We can't tank anymore, just use Flicker to get out. Uh, in that situation, it just, there was no damage whatsoever. I don't know what happened. I don't know why. Our Kimi was right there, and I uh, linked all of them. Why do we do zero damage? Hmm, let me see. Uh, Gushin still did the most damage to me. Well, basically just says I need Oracle real fast, right? Uh, Kimmy's gonna chase that Bruno. Uh, yeah, he got him. Not gonna be in range though. Bruno gonna try to look for a counter kill, turn around. The Inspire comes in. Oh, missed. Okay. Starting off the base, always use your 1 2 skill to, to, you know, get some distance. Oh, he missed everything. Uh, he's pretty much dead, I think. Wait, double dash? Gets away. The amazing getaways. Amazing getaways. Uh, I just I just zoned him. Wait, did you not see this free kill on Hylos? Okay. I guess he didn't see it. Wait, nobody nobody wants this. Okay. Both of them just left. All right. Bomb wave is all the way pushed to our base. That's not good. That's not good. Bottom wave. We're just stay mid and do nothing. Over there, they stay mid and they're gonna find there's nothing over there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and come come over here and you know clear this wave. Yeah. As long as you find a link, guys, your team can feel free to do damage and then you will instantly kill them. This game, we don't have the best combo. The combo that we have is x -Borg, right? If I can link them and then if x -Borg jumps in, then it becomes really scary. But uh, if we link them and then nobody follows up, it's bad. Okay, Bruno's coming. Bruno's coming. I'm not safe. Get my stun ready. Okay. All right, he's dead. Explosion. The Purify can get off the, the cooldown, but as long as the damage is done, you are dead, my boy. Yeah. I was still charging up my 1.5 seconds done over there. So I got him. All right, there we go. There we go. Do some damage. I linked them up. All three. All three. Give me some damage, guys. Look at that x spark Explosion. There we go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I use Hero Lock. Actually, I just realized I was doing something and I had my Hero Lock turned off. Oh, that's a clean ace. Okay, so let me just turn open up my hero lock right here. Yeah, make sure you always have hero lock on when you play Karmala. So you can use your stun on the right target. Um, Dragon's not accurate. It's not. Okay, so right here. I'm going to go ahead and look at Flicker stun. There we go, 1.5. He doesn't have purify anymore. That means he's dead. Easy dubs. And that will be win, guys. That will be win. So if you like it, if this helped you, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of 100% Ultimate Guy. Just for the thrill of it Nothing counterfeit with you